self-hate in the black community is running rampant. I'm about to show you in real time how we hate ourselves in 2019. FM Media. Let's get it. Point that the struggle for black actors has not changed much. Hey, look, that's a great, it's great. It's great that you were doing that. I wish as uh, fans of your music, we knew you were doing these sort of uh, statements. Right. Conscious. That you was just, that you was just woke. We disrespect ourselves so badly nowadays. I mean, it's just getting ugly. Look at this Drake situation. And yes, we're going to let Drake get away with this. Yes, we are. Because we really don't give a fuck about our past. By design, of course. And guess what? We're not buying this music anyway. So he was going to make his money regardless of this shit. But he don't want to lose his core fans, of course. But this is just one example that I'm going to show you how much we hate ourselves. The hospital. He didn't drop me off at the ambulance and say, you take him. He brought me to the hospital room and made two and stood there and waited until the doctor said he's going he's gonna to make it. He said, don't worry, my name's Uncle Bob. He was white as snow. The motherfuckers that hopped over me was blacker than me. Was he a cop? Yeah, he was a cop. And my life was saved by a white man. I don't know what racism is. I know a good motherfucker named Uncle Bob, though. Yeah, he was a cop, and my life was saved by a white man. I don't know what racism is. I know a good motherfucker named Uncle Bob, though. You hear this coon ass shit? My life was saved by a white man. I know it's, I know a cool ass Uncle Bob, though. Yeah, motherfucker. The supervisor walked in, realizing. You didn't hit any vital organs. This little nigga gonna survive. Maybe I can make him my snitch. And you can view me as Uncle Bob and I can always come to you and see what the fuck is going on in the hood. I see Young Money got a bunch of coons over there. We have no self-respect for each other. All we care about clout chasing and the latest fashion to show that we got clout. Gucci can come out with a shirt tomorrow with Tupac hanging on the noose, and we'll start wearing it. Motherfucking rappers will start wearing it, especially these young rappers. The youth is already misguided. We ain't even got to go there. They say, oh, they, everybody going to boycott. I say, guess what? Well, this boy going to get on a yacht and live life. Right, right, right. But you don't feel that they were disrespectful making the, the, the balakavla, the blackface? My thing is this. Sure. We all know racism still exists, but that's not gonna stop my drive. I got friends from all walks of life. And to me, of course, black lives matter first. But my thing is this, I'm gonna continue to go out there, live life and be happy and be positive. Okay. I wear what I wanna wear, when I want to and how I want to. Nobody can stop my drive, and nobody gonna tell me what to wear and what not to wear. Because half of the people that's on social media saying, don't wear this, don't wear that. I ain't never seen none of them supporting the money team. I used to have a lot of respect for this dude, man, but he he on here straight cooning, bruh. Gucci, Gucci just publicly shown how much they dislike people like you, and then you get up and go spend 200K on their store. Dude, how much Gucci shit do you need, bruh? This ain't the first time you went to the Gucci store, bruh. They're not coming out with a new catalog every year, bruh. So that was a direct shot at your people, man. Because somebody asked you to do that, bruh. Yeah. So, that's that, bruh. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so half the people on social media saying this shit don't support the money team? Bullshit, bruh. You're breaking box office numbers. The whole world is supporting the money team, bruh, all right? And the people are saying boycott, boycott. Who is they, bruh? Because the white people are not saying boycott Gucci. Another shot at your people, bruh. The reason why you got so much support on both sides is 
because the black people support you because you're black. And the white people support you because <clears throat> they want to see you lose, nigga. You represent black excellency. They remember Muhammad Ali, bruh. They look at you the same way. Same way. We look at you like a role model, bro. They look at you the same, another another black prominent figure, bro. So they want to see you lose, bro. Everybody's supporting you. Everybody's buying the Mayweather pay-per-view. They see you win and lose, bro. So. The last proof I'm going to show you that black self-hate in the black community is so real that it might be irreversible. Now, what if we had somebody willing to stand for our people? What if we had somebody to put his career and his life, put his family lives on the line just for us, just for black people? To let the whole world know that we're not all pussy. And we're not all going to just sit here and do nothing while you kill us like dogs in the street. When you're supposed to protect us. You know I mean? Sort of like the revolution is finally being televised. You would think we would stand up, you know, strong with our heads up high and ready to fight and ride this thing out because we are finally got somebody who's willing to stand for us and have the power to make change. You would think we would stand up tall and ride for this man. No. What we do, we continue to watch football. Anybody from the league or the team or whatever is trying to quiet you? No, no one's tried to quiet me and you know, to be honest, it's not something I'm going to be quiet about. I'm going to speak the truth when I'm asked about it. It's not, this isn't for a look. This isn't for publicity or anything like that. This is for people that don't have the voice. And this is for people that are being oppressed and need to have equal opportunities, you know, to be successful, to provide for their families and not live in poor circumstances. Luther and I and everyone in this arena tonight are unified by the same great American values. We're proud of our country. We respect our flag. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of off the field right now, out, he's fired. <laughs>